if you do end up enjoying our videos, please like, subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay updated when a new one gets uploaded. Ahoy! Let's think. Today we answer the question, what is a tornado? Tornadoes are some of the most scariest weather phenomena out there and they cause a lot of damage in their most extreme forms. A tornado is essentially a column of air which rotates very fast. It touches the ground but also the base of the clouds, creating effects like whirlwinds or twisters. In some cases, tornadoes can achieve high-speed winds, even more 300 miles per hour, which is so much more than even the fastest cars racing at full speed. Some of the most extreme tornadoes have the power to destroy a building and even affect large skyscrapers with substantial and costly damage. Some experts claim that we're seeing more tornadoes because of climate change. The surface temperature of the sea is increasing and the moisture in the atmosphere is becoming much higher. For this reason, the cool season can be affected by more tornadoes and other forms of extreme weather conditions that might be potentially dangerous. Ever since the 1950s, there has been a conscious effort into trying to spot tornadoes in advance to warn people so that they can get to safety. Today, we have advanced weather radars, which make the task a lot easier. So, if you know a tornado is coming, you should take shelter in a basement if possible. If you don't have a basement, you should protect yourself by going under a heavy table or desk. The most important thing is to stay away from windows, outside walls and doors. Also, as cool looking as they may be, do not go chasing tornadoes, as they are unpredictable and can change source abruptly. So, that answers the question, what is a tornado? That took some thinking. Ahoy! Let's think. Today we answer the question, what is a flood? So you probably have heard the word flood before, but what is a flood? Floods are known to be one of the Earth's most common and most destructive natural hazards. A flood is a natural event or occurrence where a piece of land that is typically dry suddenly gets submerged underwater. But what causes flooding? There are actually several reasons floods can occur. They can occur when either there is too much rain, or when a dam breaks, or even if a large amount of ice melts. Like, have you ever left the water from a faucet running too long when taking a bath? The water fills up the entire bathtub to the top, and then eventually pours over the side and onto the bathroom floor. The floor, which is typically dry, gets covered in water, getting everything wet, and you have just flooded the bathroom. Fortunately, most floods can take a while to develop, giving people enough time to avoid them. So it's important to keep updated on weather conditions where you are, so you don't get caught in the middle of a huge flood. Unfortunately, floods typically do a lot of damage to the areas they occur in. Floods cause more than $40 billion in damage worldwide annually. They do damages to buildings, homes, roads, pretty much everything, and it takes a lot of money to repair everything back to normal. Even when the floods dry up, they leave the area covered in silt and mud. The water and landscape can be contaminated with hazardous materials, such as sharp debris, pesticides, fuel and untreated sewage. If it's a residential area that was flooded, usually the area isn't safe to occupy anymore due to diseases that could be there now. So it's very sad to hear people losing their entire homes and having to move somewhere else due to a flood. There are ways that floods can be prevented or reduced. One of the biggest ways is by adding retaining walls or sandbags if you live in an area that's prone to flooding. It's important that your city spends the time and money planning for floods, so everyone remains safe and dry. So that answers the question, what is a flood? That took some thinking. Ahoy! Let's think. Today we answer the question, how do volcanoes erupt? To understand how a volcano erupts, we'll first need to take a look at the structure of the Earth. Earth has different layers, which include the inner and outer core, the mantle and the crust. We'll focus on the mantle and crust, as this is where all volcanic action takes place. The crust is the outermost layer, as well as the thinnest layer on Earth. Right below the crust is the mantle, where temperatures can reach up to 1000 degrees Celsius. Due to the high temperatures and the increasing pressure in the mantle, rocks can melt to form molten rock or magma. Magma has less density than the rock surrounding it, 
and materials with less density will usually float or rise above higher density items. The magma will try to float to the top and seek out cracks and spaces to go into, which can form magma chambers. With the right conditions, such as extreme pressure, changing heat, and tectonic activity, the magma can rise through the magma chamber and erupt through the Earth's crust, causing a volcanic explosion. The magma we see flowing on the surface is lava, and as the lava cools, it forms a volcano. Just like there are different sizes and shapes of volcanoes, there is also different types of volcanic eruptions, such as Hawaiian eruptions, which occur when lava shoots into the air in jets through a vent. The jets can last for as long as days and is known as fire fountaining. Probably the most dangerous eruption is the Plinian eruption, which is the largest and most violent. This eruption releases an incredible amount of energy and can cause an eruption of gas and ash that can reach up to 50 kilometers or 35 miles high. The most well-known Plinian eruption is that of Mount Vesuvius in 79 AD. Regardless of the type of eruption, it's best to be as far away from one as you possibly can. So that answers, how do volcanoes erupt? That took some thinking. Ahoy, let's think. Today we look at the top 10 facts about volcanoes. Number 10, the word volcano originally comes from the name of the Roman god of fire, Vulcan. Number nine, hot liquid rock under the Earth's surface is known as magma. It's called lava after it comes out of a volcano. Number eight, some famous volcanic eruptions of modern times include Mount Krakatoa in 1883, Nova Rupta in 1912, Mount St. Helens in 1980, and Mount Pinatubo in 1991. Number seven, common volcanic gases include water vapor, carbon dioxide, sulfur dioxide, hydrogen chloride, hydrogen fluoride, and hydrogen sulfide. Number six, there are 20 volcanoes erupting right now. Number five, pumice is a unique volcanic rock called igneous that can float in water. It can also be used as an abrasive and is sometimes used in beauty salons for removing dry skin. Number four, there are also volcanoes found on the ocean floor and even under ice caps, such as those found in Iceland. Number three, while we certainly have some big volcanoes here on Earth, the biggest known volcano in our solar system is actually on Mars. Its name is Olympus Mons, and it measures a whopping 600 kilometers, 373 miles wide, and 21 kilometers, 13 miles high. Number two, an erupting volcano can trigger tsunamis, flash floods, earthquakes, mud flows, and rock falls. Number one, there are more than 500 active volcanoes in the world. More than half of these volcanoes are part of the Ring of Fire, a region that encircles the Pacific Ocean. So that was the top 10 facts about volcanoes. That took some thinking. Ahoy, let's think. Today we answer the question, what is an earthquake? An earthquake is when the surface of the earth shakes or quakes, hence the name earthquake. So what exactly causes this phenomenon? First, we take a look at the surface or crust of the Earth. As you can see, the Earth's surface is not one smooth layer, but is actually made of many different sections, called tectonic plates. Although we can't feel it, these plates are continuously moving. When the edges of the tectonic plates collide, they may stick and cause friction. As the rough edges stick together, the rest of the plate continues to move, storing up energy and causing stress. Over time, the stress becomes too great and the stored up energy releases outward. Rocks break and the crust cracks and becomes displaced, causing the earth to shake. You can see this happen when you force two incompatible puzzle pieces together. The pieces will never fit together and after enough force is applied, they will eventually bend or the edges will break off. Other ways an earthquake can occur is through a volcanic eruption. Since the plates are constantly moving, there are hundreds of earthquakes that occur daily. We don't always feel them, as a majority of them are very small. The strength or magnitude helps us determine how big an earthquake is. Usually anything below a magnitude of two is small enough that we won't feel it. The largest recorded earthquake was the Great Chilean earthquake, which had a magnitude of about 9.5. The earth rupture zone stretched almost 1,000 kilometers, 
or over 620 miles on the coast of Chile and caused a tsunami that was able to reach as far as New Zealand, Japan and the Philippines. Although earthquakes may seem highly destructive, there are some positives to them. They help us understand what's happening below the Earth's surface, and natural occurring earthquakes can create mountains and make new seafloors. Without earthquakes, our planet would look very different from how it is today. So that answers the question, what is an earthquake? That took some thinking. Ahoy! Let's think! Today we look at the top 10 facts about floods. Number 10. A flood is the submerging of normally dry land by an overflow of water. Number 9. No region is safe from flooding. All 50 states are subject to flash floods. Number 8. Flash floods can bring walls of water from 10 to 20 feet high. Number 7. To stay safe during a flood, go to the highest ground or floor possible. If your skin comes into contact with flood water, make sure to wash it with soap and disinfected water, because the contents are unknown. Number 6. A 2,000 square foot home undergoing 12 inches of water damage could cost more than $50,000. Number 5. For the past 30 years, flooding has resulted in almost $8 billion in damage each year. Number 4. Floods cause an average of 82 deaths per year, making it the deadliest weather-related disaster in the US. Number 3. The Yellow River, Huanghe in China, has had the four deadliest flood events in world history. The floods in 1931 resulted in 1 to 4 million people being killed. Number 2. In ancient Egypt, people relied on the Nile River floods because they created enriched soil for farmers. Number 1. As little as two feet of rushing water can carry away an automobile, including a pickup truck or SUV. So that was the top 10 facts about floods. That took some thinking. If you enjoyed watching, please remember to like this video and subscribe to the channel.